the mid-season finale for The Walking Dead Season 6, start to finish. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Wow, did you just see that? And to be honest with you guys, this was the most anticlimactic, boring, waste of a time episode in all of the seasons of The Walking Dead. I have never been so disappointed in my life. I cannot believe that the season started out so great, but the mid-season finale ended just like this. The last episode, we see the balloons go up in the air. Maggie is getting all excited, but then the walkers come in. But it's like everybody in this episode forgot common sense. They forgot how to attack walkers. They forgot how to run or walk or even jog. I mean, how do you forget that? If you see the last episode, as soon as the balloons went up, Everybody saw the tower coming down and crashing over the gates. So, for example, how in the world does a walker get like three feet from Maggie when she has her assault rifle? I mean, as soon as the building comes down and crashes on the gate, everyone should be running from their lives. And she had a rifle in her hand with like seven or three bullets in it. Why are you carrying around a rifle with not that many bullets in it? You didn't just have a walker fight. I mean, I don't understand what's going on. And like, I mean, Maggie is a pro. Maggie knows what she's doing. She's an expert. She is a warrior. But all of a sudden, she just doesn't know how to run anymore falls down, can barely crawl up a ladder. It's just extremely frustrating. Rick is on the ground. Why is he Why is he on the ground? I mean, did they show that the building almost hit him? Why is he on the ground? Why is the other guy on the ground? Deanna doesn't know how to run either. She's wobbling and hobbling along. We didn't even see her get bit and, or scratched. And if they did show it, they did a horrible job at that. And it's just, I mean, scene after scene after scene, the thing just let me down. There was no stakes. There was no excitement. There was no, there was barely any killings of the walker. I mean, Eugene is just freaking useless. I mean, why is he still there? I mean, he's just standing there. He, I mean, he just, I mean, when he pulled out that lock pick seconds, like, oh, I can save the day and pick a lock. I was so hoping and praying that there was just one walker, not a horde of them, but one walker on the other side of that door just to eat him up and get him off the show because he is just a waste of space. If they don't upgrade his character soon, I don't know what I'm going to do. My head is going to explode because he is just there for no reason. I mean, I'm going to be jumping around here, but I, I just can't help it because I'm so frustrated. Something else that frustrated me is even when the, ep I mean, the little boy, uh, Sam, I mean, I understand that you're scared, dude, and you don't know what's going on, but man, you got to wake up and face reality, and you're locked up in your room listening to old tunes on the freaking uh, album, uh, whatever, album player, and you're coloring and stuff, and you're, you're so locked in your room that you don't even notice the ants coming in and eating a cookie, or maybe you do know... Or maybe you do notice that, but you're just so clocked out that you don't want to face reality. I mean, I know he's a child, but I hate his character. And then everybody runs up the stairs and his mom is there. She's like, honey, close the door and turn off the music. No, just go over and take a half of a second and knock the record off the player. I mean, the, the whole episode, the music is playing and attracting walkers. I don't understand that. And then you got stupid Ron over there, this mad at Carl for no damn reason. Look, guy, the girl didn't want you to get over it. Your dad is an asshole. That is the only thing that I liked in this episode when Carl said, hey, man, I get it. I killed your dad, but your dad was an asshole. That right there was the only great part. But no, Ron wants to be a stupid ass and, and, uh, and, and, and get hypnotized by his own stupidity and try to pull a gun on Carl and then hit him with a shovel and they're fighting around. And then Carl wants to save his butt talking about, oh no, we were looking for tools and we knocked over. This that doesn't even, even make sense. And you want to save him? No, shoot him, kill him. He just, no, 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 he is breaking all the rules. He just put your life in danger. No, I, I just don't care. I have baby Judith to look after, not you and your st stupid, ignorant butt because your butt hurt because your dad is murdering people and I mean, you're, I mean, Deanna said kill him. She got permission, uh, Rick got permission from her. So if you want to be mad at somebody, don't get mad at Rick. Don't get mad at Carl. Get mad at Deanna because your dad is an asshole. And then you're crying over Edith because she doesn't want you anymore. I mean, my goodness, it's not even like Carl stole her. I mean, you don't even know that. What did you, did you walk in on them making out? Did I forget that? 
Uh, I mean, please let me know in the comment section below. And then you got dumbass Morgan with his ninja bow staff going around. I mean, I like Morgan, but Morgan, you have to go, man. This is just ridiculous. I mean, because of your stupid actions. I mean, I, look, dude, I agree with you. All life is precious. Yes, all life is precious, but we are not living in the normal world here, man. These guys are freaking savage murderers and they don't care. They are going to kill you. And then you body slam curl and then you get knocked out with your own weapon. And hey, not only did you give the other walkers guns because you didn't want to kill him. Now another walker has two guns and now he has somebody that is a hostage. I mean, you could have kept that a secret, but no, you took other people in the room and now they're hostages. And, and another thing, freaking Carol. I hated her in season one, but she is one of my favorite uh, characters in the show now. She is a warrior. You, you watch the show, you know why she's a warrior. But when she, she forgets how to run too and has a concussion out of nowhere. I mean, why does she have, I mean, I mean, come on, seriously? What did she trip over and hit her head on? I mean, it's just dumb, dumb, dumb. I, I am so frustrated with this. I mean, like, it's just like everybody forgot how to survive and how to fight walkers. We didn't even see uh, half of the other characters. I guess they're locked up in their room somehow. I was hoping that more, not Morgan, but um, Sasha, Abraham, and Daryl were going to come back with the rock launcher and blow walk, walkers out the way. And just another thing, guys, let's just use common sense. When Glenn was outside and he saw the walkers, um, when he saw the building crash into the wall, he could have shot two or three shots in the air and attracted the walkers that way. I mean, this is not 28 days later. This is not World War Z. The walkers can't sprint t uh, 10 seconds down 100 yards. I mean, they barely, I mean, you can out, you can, you can, you don't even have to out jog walkers. You can out walk walkers. You can just, hey, wave your hands. If you don't even want to waste bullets, hey, just start screaming. You can run up to 20 feet in front of them. Just start screaming and then lead them away from the camp. But no, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't I mean, the writing in this episode was horrible. I don't understand. Rick can't even fight. And, and what, what was another thing that is just so stupid is when the walkers got into the house and then they blocked the staircase. Okay, you have an advantage. The walkers have to go up and then you have a big ass three seater couch in the way blocking it. And Michonne has a sword. Just one by one stab the walkers in the face with the sword and then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to waste 30 minutes on ripping sheets and then you get one or two walkers and gut them and have to, I mean, all that time or one or, I mean, you could have had one, two or three characters just holding the couch just to make sure no walkers got through and just have Michonne stabbing with the sword easily, one by one. I don't care if it took 10 minutes. I don't care if it took 30 minutes. I don't care if it took five hours. That is a foolproof plan. It could have worked, but no, nobody wants to use their brains. They just threw the writing out of the door. This episode was horrible. It was atrocious. It was a complete letdown. I mean, I, I, mean, I love season one, two, and three of The Walking Dead. But uh, season four was not good to me. Um, if season five got a little bit better, but they was wasting bullets in that season two with, you know, a group of six people in a circle. But one walker wakes, uh, walks up and they want to shoot him in the head instead of bashing him. I mean, the season six started so great. It started so fantastic with this horde of walkers. Excuse me. I loved everything about it. But then, I mean, they, they set you up for this epic uh, end battle scene for a start to finish and they started the season out good and I know season six is not over but this mid-season finale was not good at all I mean I'm just so frustrated with the way with what they did with the writing I mean it is just trash horrible a letdown anticlimactic nothing happened I mean I just knew that they were going to be pulling out guns and Rick was going to be beating ass and then Michonne is going to be with her sword and then Morgan is going to be with his bow staff. I mean, it makes sense to run in the houses, but even before they got to that point, people just forgot how to run. They just don't know. Everybody's tripping and falling. You know, I mean, how in the world did a walker, walkers get so close to Maggie? That does not make any sense. I mean, as soon, I mean, we know the walkers are outside the gate. We know that as soon as the gate I mean, as soon as the building crashed and thing, I would have been on the other side of the thing. I would have, I would have went straight to the, I, I, I don't understand. 
I don't understand. I don't understand. Sam, I am going to slap the hell out of you, dude, if you do not wake up and face reality. I know you are a child. The monsters. Dude, get it together, man. Get it together. And then you're walking down and it's working. They say, be quiet. But you, mom, mom, M mom, what? What, what? Do you have to go to the bathroom? Pee on yourself. Hold it or something. I mean, my goodness. Uh, th this video is getting pretty long. Um, man. I have never been, this was more disappointing than Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I mean, my goodness gracious. I mean, we, we, we covered Rick, Maggie, Carol, Deanna, you know, and, and Deanna, I mean, what the hell are you doing, Rick? What are you doing, man? Kill her. I am sorry. I will understand if the walkers were not inside the gate or inside the house and you want to have some humanity and say goodbye, they're right downstairs. They're right downstairs. I I'm sorry, uh, Deanna. I don't mean to be an ass, but I'm going to kill you now or I got to go. And I'm not going to be talking to you. No, 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 no. She, co uh, she could have ate the baby. I mean, it, uh, my gosh. I mean, this, this is just, uh, it, it just wasn't a good episode, guys. But hey, that is just my opinion. Okay, just because I thought this episode sucked and didn't like it doesn't mean that you don't have to like it. I mean, just with anything, just because I dislike or like something doesn't mean that you have to dislike or like something. So this is just my opinion, guys. What did you think about the episode? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, that's fine. Just leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know why and still give me the thumbs up. Also, since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. If you would like a written review of any of the latest films that have come out in the past, and I will be, of course, writing for the future too, you can head over to the site. You can find it at just my, no, I'm sorry, www.justmyopinion.net. And if you would like the official Facebook page of mine, you can find it at facebook.com slash justmyopinion. And if you're into social media, which I'm sure you are, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at JustMyOpinion84. So guys, thank you again for tuning in for my episode recap of The Walking Dead Season 6, the, uh, the mid-season finale start to finish. This is my first one. I've never done it before. I may come back and do it uh, at the beginning of next season next year. Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go to the website, find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and also share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. And thank you again for tuning in, guys. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Peace.